How CSS works behind the scenes. When a page in the browser gets loaded, it parses the HTML code. While parsing the code, it loads the CSS from the header links, for example. Once CSS is loaded, it starts parsing in two steps. First step is resolving the CSS declaration conflicts and this step is also known as cascading. The second step is processing final CSS values. Let's explain them. Go with Sloba. CSS comes from these different sources. CSS that developers write, CSS that is configurable by user in the browser, and some styles are predefined in the browser. So when one or more styles are applied to the same element, CSS performs a set of rules called cascading, which evaluates the strength and the style rule which has more weight wins. But how does the cascade actually resolve conflicts? Here we have three factors. First is importance. Cascade marks the importance of CSS styles based on the source they are coming from in the following order. So if you have two rules on the same element and one has an important keyword on it, it will win. But if both of them have important keyword, then specificity determines the winner in this order. So in this example, the selector with ID will win, as it has a higher specificity. But if both of these styles have the same specificity, order will determine the winner. The last declaration will be applied. And with this step, we are done with cascading. Now CSS can move to processing final CSS values and apply them to all styles. Finally, CSS gets parsed and we get a CSS object model, which combined with DOM object model forms a render tree. Once the tree gets rendered, we get our final rendered website. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.